Hey guys, this is Hunter of Vapor Honing Technologies, and today we will be discussing vapor blasting versus sand blasting. This topic has always been up for major debate as vapor blasting has become an up and coming industry, and I'm here to shed some light on this topic. Imagine you have greasy, rusty, oily, dirty parts that you were trying to restore to a like new condition, and you want to know the best way to restore it. Sandblasting is very messy, dusty, and causes you to have to wear protective gear like a respirator or mask. Vapor honing has and requires none of those things. The reason being is that vapor honing knocks down the dust through the water, so no dust is ever created and cannot escape the cabinet. Vapor honing also creates a smoother surface finish due to the process being done with flow instead of impact so there are no pitting of parts. The water will cushion your media, so it cleans the direct surface of the part, leaving a smooth surface finish. This leads into no risk of media being embedded into the surface of your parts due to the water cushioning your media and not having a direct impact. This can be important when it comes to important areas in different parts, such as engines or passageways or threads. Another important point to note is that there is no risk of heat warping due to the friction of the media, unlike the dry blast process. If the part is warped, it makes it 10 times harder to get back together, or it might not go back together at all. This can end up costing a lot of money for something that could have been a simple fix in a vapor blasting cabinet, especially if you deal with antiques that are a lot harder to find. These are just some of the key factors that makes vapor blasting versus sand blasting an easy debate for vapor blasting to take an upper hand in. For more information, please follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or give me a call. My number is 828-202-5563, extension 102.